Hey guys, it's Caitlin. Thank you so much for watching. So today I went into Torrid. They're actually running their Hot Cash Redemption period. So if you have any coupons, now's the time to use them. It makes everything kind of half off. So I always love utilizing the coupons when I have them. I also tried on a ton of spring and summer outfits and pieces just to give you guys an idea and then also see what I could add to my wardrobe for this spring and summertime. Um, so let's take a look and see what we tried on. So this first top, I'm really into like a tie-dye look. I really want to find a really great tie-dye top or something for spring. I feel like it's so fun. Um, but this, uh, this clearly was not it. This is like your modern day take on a goddamn moo, moo I don't understand. I don't know how they think it's flattering. You will see that throughout this whole video, I kind of tried on a variance in sizes. Again, I'm kind of losing weight slowly. I'm trying to get down. So I'm trying to still try and figure out where I'm at, where I sit, what I need to wear. So this I tried on in a four. No, this was a size one. This was giant. The length was off. This, the fit was off. It just was not flattering. I don't know, maybe for pajamas, but this just was not it. This was not it. The next top that I tried on I felt was super adorable. It had some blue and white pinstripes, super cute and like on trend for spring and summer. It had a very adorable little bow tie detail. I'm also going to unbutton myself for you here. Just kidding. I wanted just to see if they were functional buttons, which they are, so there's that. Um, it was in a baby doll um, style with spaghetti straps. It had some ruching in the back, so it made it super stretchy. So this one I should have sized down in. This I tried on in a size 3. But even still, funnily enough, it was very large, like I could, it, it was too big. But you could still see my freaking double gut. And that shit drives me insane. I just, you know, I, I guess it's the style, the baby doll. I, I Sometimes I can get away with it, this time I could not. But it is a really cute top if you can get away with wearing it. Again, tried it on a size 3. You guys, look at the prices throughout these. These are nuts. Um, this top I did end up purchasing. The background color of the orange is not coming off as neon as it is in real life. So adorable. I really love the color combinations that Torrid's coming out with. I do think it's super fresh for spring and summer. It had the cute bow tie detail on the straps. Just very adorable. This next piece that I tried on, again, I really fell in love with just the color combination. I did grab this one because I feel like I can pair it really easily with a cardigan for work, wear it out in the, um, you know, regular everyday life, I guess. Uh, I just felt like it was super cute. It has this beautiful, vibrant cobalt, cobalt blue with baby doll pink and fuchsias in there. It's just really cute. Uh, it did have a little bit of a strappy detail on the back, but I'm not talented enough to try and film that for y'all. Um, but again, I did pick this up. I felt like it was the right amount of flow, if you know what I'm saying. Um, so didn't make me feel like I was wearing a muumuu. It is a little bit large, but I didn't try and size down at all. I was like over trying clothes on at this point. Yes, girl. Um, I didn't want to go back into the damn dressing room after this. Um, but you know, clearly I was feeling myself. So there's that. So yeah, get it girl. Hmm. <laughs> Um, so I tried that on a size two. I probably could have done one, but like I said, I was over it. Um, this next piece is a really cute, basic, very staticky top. Uh, it was very bright, vibrant pink. It had some pin tuck details at the top, the neckline. It was almost like a faux halter neck, um, piece. And I just, again, something super basic for work, but that's kind of why I didn't end up getting it was because it was so basic. And I think it was like $40. Their prices are ridiculous. Um, and I'm sure this is going to go on clearance. You know, they usually do buy one get two free on clearance buy one get one free so I just for $40 I put it back even though I felt it was super cute and flattering and I could totally get somewhere out of it um and then look at that highlight on that nose it's like Rudolph of the strobe edition like super cute I love it um yeah so I tried that in a size one and it was fine so this next top, um, I really did like. I did end up getting this one as well. I just felt like it was flattering in the baby doll cut. I love, you know, I'm a sucker for the mesh and the lace and the neckline. I'm kind of basic, but I liked the ruffle detail down the boobs and across the chest. It does have a little undershirt underneath it built in. Um, and I just felt like it was really flattering. Again, I always wear a cardigan, so I'm always looking for sleeveless tops that I can just throw on for work, throw on, you know, in everyday life, go to the grocery store in, and I felt like it was, it was really cute. I felt like it was very feminine. It was not super springy in color. It's like a, an eggplant, but I still think it's really adorable, so I did end up grabbing that, um, and I was, like, feeling the whole model thing, you know what I'm saying? I was like, yeah, tilt the leg, girl. Put the hand on the hip. You dip, we dip, I dip, we dipped. So that was a zero. So look, I'm trying on all these different all the different sizes. And then there's this. This is like a major catastrophe here. Those shorts, can we guess what size those are in? 
a freaking 20. Those were in a size 20. They were way too tight. Um, the top itself, I almost fell there. That was just a little thing there. <laughs> the top itself, I think, was in a size 3. And look at how snug it is. I can't get away with their t-shirts for this reason alone is because of the double gut situation. I just have never found them to be flattering. The chub situation is also real. I need to get on them, like, I don't know, leg exercises. But this whole outfit was a big fat no for me. Absolutely. So that was a size 2, but still... Look at the difference in sizes in a 20. No, ma'am. This next piece I got was in the clearance rack. I've been looking for this because I've seen it on other girls, um, you know, throughout the winter and stuff. It's just a really cute sweatshirt, but look at where the, the hemline falls. It's like, does it go on top of the fat roll? Does it go underneath the fat roll? I couldn't figure it out for the damn life of me. But it's just a sweatshirt material. has a really cute baby doll cut. It has some, you know, obviously basic distressing on there, some holes. Then I also tried it on with these Bermuda shorts. I really liked these. I ended up buying them because I feel like I'm going to be running around after my son when it gets into the warm whether I don't want to have like the chub rub, the chafing, chafing, chafing issues. Um, and I don't want my ass cheeks hanging out when I'm trying to bend over and like grab him and, and all that. So I did feel very comfortable. I love the distressing on them. I liked that like hemline was super distressed. I just found them to be very flattering and super adorable. So I grabbed the jeans, not the top. That was too much, too big. Okay. So the shorts were in 18. There we go. There's another size we're playing with. This top was also on clearance. I really, really liked it. It has really cute pearl details like sewn onto the sleeves and almost into the neckline um, collar area. It's like, I don't want to say tie dye, but it's like a stone wash, like a black stone washed um, fabric. This one was, I think, a size three. Again, I have to usually size up because of the gut situation on their t-shirts, but I thought this was super flattering. I really liked the cut on it. I really just felt comfortable in it. Sorry. I felt very comfortable and I felt like it's a piece that I would feel confident in wearing out without a cardigan over it. So I did end up grabbing that. It was a buy one, get one free on their clearance. So I grabbed that baby. Here's a gem for you guys. Ready? Ready? Boom. <laughs> so I tried on some overalls. I do wish I could get away with it. I can't. Again, the guts. Um, but I don't know. I, I guess I'm a little bit jealous of people who can, but I'm showing you here. See where like it ends? I felt like it was like perfectly in line with my top roll. So I felt like my rolls were going to spill out and that's just not a cute look. Any way that you look at it, um, it was kind of an open back, just had the straps. I was very confused as to how to get in and out of this thing though. I will be honest. It took me a minute, but I didn't, I, it was very comfortable. It's like kind of like a linen-y material, but it wasn't wrinkly. So maybe not real linen. I don't know. But it was cute. If I could get away with it, I totally would. If maybe I do some lose some weight um, into the end of the summer and the fall and stuff, I'll get into that trend. But for right now, that's something I'm going to have to skip. And then look, I was just like fidgeting with it the whole time. I was like, I'm just going to be inappropriately like stroking this thing the whole entire time I'm wearing it. So it's probably not. It's a good idea. I mean, it's not a good idea and it's good that it didn't fit. So um, and then I tried on these clearance jeans. Now, guys, let's take a poll. What size do you think these jeans are? 20? 18? No, they're a freaking 16 and they fit perfectly. So that's what I'm saying. I've tried these are all obviously torrid brands. But the thing is, it's not consistent. So don't get hung up when you're going into a store and you're trying something on and the size on the tag isn't where you want it to be because it's not always you. You need to be worried about how you're presenting yourself, how you feel in the clothes that you're putting on your body. Nobody's looking at the size and the tag inside your waistband. They're looking at you and who you are and how you present yourself. So that's what I had to remind myself. 18, 16, 20, it is what it is. I need to be comfortable and confident in it and then I can rock it. So moving on, here's um, this strange tiered dress. I think it's meant to help people who don't have a huge amount of curves. For me, it just makes me look like I have a, a stomach down to my knees and I'm not about that life. Look how cute the top is, though. It has these button details and then like the loopholes so you can see some boobs. Um, the weird ruffle thingamajig, it goes down to about my knees, maybe a little bit, bit below the knee. I just didn't really find it flattering at all. Like I said, maybe it's to help someone who struggles in the hip area uh, and give you some curves built in, but your girl does not need any help. Thanks so much, Torrid, but you can keep your wedding, like wedding cake tiered dress. No, it made me look pregnant and I'm not. So fuck that. <laughs> Okay, I should have warned you again, but I tried on a bathing suit. I'm gonna be loud and proud I'm going to own my body these days. It is what it is. We're putting yourself out on YouTube's. Let's get over it kids So I really liked this bathing suit From the front from the side here. I feel like it added too much volume So it's a two-piece. I feel like the ruffle in the top in the front and in the back just added way too much to my 
frame that I don't need help with again. But like when you look at it spot like straight on, I didn't feel like it was super unflattering. I was kind of like, okay, maybe if like nobody can see me from the side, I can deal with it. But it is what it is. I didn't end up getting it just because it wasn't for me. So that's all that I tried on and the pieces that I grabbed. I th hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for being here. I love you so much. Have a great day. Bye.